Okay, so number four is gonna be conditioning the tan cell and then into the bong cell and back fist and then punch. This is the high this is the eye hand coordination technique where you speed up the eye and also the brain. It make it faster for this kind of technique. Okay? So uh, this is perfect for doing that. It's from the Shaolin monastery, this one. So this is what they train in the mornings. But the thing is with this one, you're really in low stance like this as you do it. But in a modern day society, no one wants to really get into low stance. So you just want to go into a short stance like this, like a boxing stance, and you can still do it, okay? So from this position, so now if you throw a punch, straight punch to my face, one, tan cell, bong cell, and then she tans, and then she bongs. But at the same time, this is clashing here. So this is conditioning me. So if I'm going back fist here, this is conditioning my back fist, and then bong. See, this is all conditioning here, all close quarters, okay? Now, as Salam punches me with this hand, I'm going to bong again. Catch it, back fist, she bongs, here, bang, here. So from here, nice and fluid, we start to flow. If you see, it's very close quarters. This is very close. This is something that you would do in a lift. If you're fighting a lift, I go for a punch, bang, that'd be the hit, yeah? So from this position here, as the punch comes in, you go one, two, nice and fluid. Okay, be flowy. No tense. Okay, so one, slowly punch, bong sao, bong sao, punch, bong sao. time okay so practice it but remember it's one two three four and then she punches one two three four one more time one two three four and then you carry on and on okay again very slowly practice it slowly and then gradually you get fast okay so what you want is in a street situation, someone's going to double punch, one, two, ba, 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 boom, one, two. Okay, so if I punch you, ba, boom, boom. That's it. So if I punch you, boom, bong okay, yeah. sao. Bang, bang, bang. Okay, faster. Back to this. Yes, so, 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 one, bong sao, bang. Boom, boom, two, three, bong sao. That's it. Four, five, six, seven. Time. Practice it. Thank you. So the next one is from here, one, two three, four, and you chop with a knife, okay? So from here, you're one, two, three, four, and you knife hand chop, okay? So it's one, two, three, four, and then knife hand chop. One, two, three, four, knife hand chop. You can maybe consider this as like very similar to um, uh, windscreen wipers for the car, okay? The block. Okay, so the right hand comes up first, then the left hand, yeah? And then right hand, left hand, catch, chop the neck, grab, break, okay? So one more time. You gotta make sure your hands are perfectly right, okay? So you're gonna go one, two, three, four, chop the neck, grab, and then break, okay? So if you're try it with a partner, okay? So again, right leg forward, nice and relaxed. Straight punch, one, two, three, four, five, break. As I break here, this hand just launches out so she can practice it. Two, three, four. She breaks my arm and she punches me again. One, two. Then we go here. Bang. So one, two, two, three. Okay, now we slow it down so you can see it. So it's one, two, three, four. I'm going to chop the neck, grab the hand, and then bust the elbow. And then from here, I launch back because it's just a drill. We're just practicing the drill. Okay? This is working our reflexes. Okay? Break, break, one, two, three, four, break. Break, 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 not punch, break. Punch me, break, break.
Good. So again, so practice. One, two, three, four, five, six. If you don't have a partner on a dummy, this is how you do it. Okay, from here you go. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so remember from here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. One more time. One, two, three, four, five. As you can see, the first one, I don't really grab it. I palm it. I palm, I palm. And I slip in, I palm, and now I grab, and then I hit. Okay, try it. You ready to go? Hope you enjoy it. Well done. Okay, so I'm just going to go through some uh, body conditioning with you that we do for JKD. Uh, the stuff that I do to condition myself and also to work with my students, um, the things that we go through for speed and power and uh, quick explosive timing. Okay, so these are the kind of things we go through. The first one, if someone goes for it, if you go into a press up position, okay? So press up, it's about uh, doing about 20, just to warm up. So from there, if you go down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Always make sure that you're breathing as well for your nose, in for your nose, out for your mouth. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then jump back up. And then punching position. Right leg forward, left leg back. Just to warm up, center line punch. Go. That's it. Focus forward. That's it. Okay, you want to do about 20 of them, full speed. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Last 10 seconds. It's explosive. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Knee elbow. Bang, bang. That's it. Okay, hi there. Okay, so this is a, a total body workout, a total JKD body workout that I use and also me and my students, we all go through it, okay? So the next one we're gonna go for is crunches. Okay, so it's very important to work out the abs for the kicking power and speed as well, okay? If you go on your back, please, yeah, okay? If you bring your knees up slightly, okay, so from there, if you put your hand, okay, okay, let's go for 20, one, that's it. Two, remember to breathe as well, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and one more, 20. Okay, lie down on your back, legs straight. Okay, so now bring your legs up. This is very good for the hook kick, okay? So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, breathe, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and back up, well done. So that's the abs. Okay, so the next one I wanna see is from here, is squat down, knee up. Squat down, knee up. Squat down, knee up. Okay, that's the next one, okay? So ready, again, do it about 20 times, okay? One, that's it, boom. Two, that's it, three, Breathe out, four, five, bring your knee up, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and relax. Okay, from there, jumping jack. From here, so, so, this way, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, feet in, build G, finger jab. Okay, so faster you can, go. Okay, ten seconds, explosive. Really go for it. Ready, ready, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, the elbow. Okay, from there. A knee elbow. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, 
Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, right before the left back. Okay, center line punch. You want to say one psychic to the stomach full speed. Okay, you can either do five of these or seven of these or ten of these. It's up to you. Okay, if you're going to go really hardcore, you do 12 of these, okay? Ready? Okay, so we're just going to work on five of these, okay? Full speed psychic to the stomach. One. That's it. Keep punching. Two. That's it. Reach out with your punches. Three. Four. Five. Okay, switch quickly. That's it. Center line punch. That's it. Left leg side kick. One. Reach out with your punches. Two. Okay, 10 seconds, explosive punches. Okay, do it like your life depends on it. Ready? Speed. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, the other way. Okay, into the splits. Push out. That's it, go as far as you can. That's it, good. Good, breathe in, breathe out. Okay, cat legs from there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And back up. Well done. So this is the kind of training I want you to do, okay? So I want you to follow this very slowly and train it. If you can do 10, do 10. Or if you can do 20, do 20. Uh, set yourself goals if you can do three sets of 10 or three sets of 20. Um, build up from there, okay? But take your time, don't go crazy with it, okay? But this is the kind of intense training that we do. Uh, with Jeet Kune Do or any kind of real life situation combat, you want to be prepared for, and you have to train your whole body and to be prepared for the fight. Okay? Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you, Sanam. Thanks very much, the audience. Thank you.